Good morning everybody and welcome back to another screen recorded video. So this is screen this is the fifth video that I did with screen recording. So in this is a tutorial video on how to install your very own fire alarm system on Roblox. So I'm going to show you some very easy steps and how to do it so any so you can guys build your own fire alarm system too so let's get started okay so the first step is you want to look for a fire alarm control panel by going to this toolbox search bar and search fire alarm control panel so I'm gonna do fire panel and then you have the options to choose from so you want to select the panel so we're gonna select a good one so we're gonna go with this one right here and we're going to line it up against the wall so that's step one install your control panel and then you right click the top of the screen right here you click explore and then the next thing you want to do is select your simplex control panel right here on the right side and then open the rest and the first thing we're gonna do is let's look for a horn strobe let's say you wanna install a horn strobe to connect to the panel so we're gonna select P1224MC so I want to install a System Sensor Spectre Alert Classic. Well, that's not the one I want. So System Sensor is the best thing to search for if you guys like System Sensor devices. So let's say I want to install see if I can find it that's not the one that I want Okay, now I found System Sensor Spectre Alert Classic, so I want to install System Sensor Spectre Alert Classics. So I got I got some of the choices to choose from. So so what we're gonna do is you gotta you gotta click on it, hold down. CTRL on your keyboard click the U button to ungroup them give it a couple of pushes and we're gonna pick these two right here and we're going to rotate it put it where you want it and we're going to right click it and cut it and then the next step is you go to peripherals click NAC1 you can go to other signals or speakers it doesn't matter what you choose and then you right click other signals and then you click paste in two. Let's do one more Spectre Alert Classic. So next thing you want to do is 
line it up and then you right click it cut it and then you go to other signals and hit paste into very simple process and now we're going to install a pole station instead of going peripherals it, it's initiating devices whoops I, I typed a uh, pole station wrong I'm sorry everybody that was my fault but here is the pole station that we're going to be using we're going to be using a firelight pole station right here so we select the pole station let's rotate it line it up with the wall and now you right click it you cut it you go to initiating devices you right click it and hit paste into and don't forget you can move each individual devices if you click on it by using this bar right here where my cursor is the arrow but just to be be careful don't don't um, mix these things up otherwise you're gonna disable some of your devices which you really don't want okay so you gotta be very very careful and now I want to re uh, select a reset key and I'm not sure how to do smoke detectors guys but the only thing I can do is only only pull stations and notification alarms and you want to add a reset key to your toolbox and if you want to re add it to res to your toolbox you click yes and then and boom your fire alarm system is finished you can add as many pull stations as you want and many alarms as you want and now let's test it out and see if it works Let's close this out so you can see the full screen a little bit better. See, the reset key is in my toolbox at the bottom. And now, let's set off the alarm. Wow, that's loud. And now you want to reset the pole station. And hit acknowledge. Silence. And yes, we do have audible silence, so both of the strobes are perfectly in sync. So I'm really surprised that Roblox has a synchronization. Um, programmed in the panel all by itself so the strobes are not really flashing randomly if you have two of the same alarm on the same company it's like that's that's actually pretty cool both of the specter alert classics both the remote strobe and the horn strobe are both perfectly in sync and hopefully this is a helpful video that that'll give you a tutorial how to make your own fire alarm system in Roblox so anyways let's reset the panel so this is the panel that I recommend for a a beginners panel in Roblox guys so this is the panel that I recommend the reason why I choose one without the cabinet because for some reason the when I click on the cabinet it won't open so 
it's best to choose uh, this one right here guys so for our starters panel if you guys want to have access to your control panel so 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 there you guys go that is a good tutorial and an easy way to build your fire alarm system inside Roblox so hopefully this is a helpful video guys and this is and I am the I am the user I'm a user on Roblox of my avatar is jittery hotel and I was the one that made a bunch of uh, levels and places um I made them all for you guys to have fun play and enjoy so um, if you guys go to my if you guys go to my profile on Roblox you'll you'll see all the facilities that I've created and I created 15 worlds and and I'll make more really soon and and if you want to see a video of how to change the coding on this panel and and if you want to see um see see how to maybe I'll make it happen so anyways guys I hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial of how to build your own fire alarm system inside Roblox. So hopefully this was a very quick and easy setup. And thank you so much. Thank you so much, everybody. Bye. And also, one more thing. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And if you find this very helpful. So thank you so much and bye.